Hello everyone, my name is Dredden and we are back in a guide to Medieval Mod. So this is just going to be a short-ish one on sort of the differences in crafting, because it's a bit different. Uh, we don't have a forge, we have a furnace, and uh, iron flow is a little bit different. Anyways, so I'll get into that uh, about now. Okay guys, so the way that um, iron works is pretty much the same to get it. It is, you have to go find a rock or dig underground to get it. But of course, to get this kind of pick that I've got is going to take you, uh, well, a lot of levels. It's going to take you some time. So, uh, just keep that in mind. Um, I'm just going to gather some iron up and then we're going to melt it down and do something with it. Um, I've showed you how to talk to the traders. It's not very hard. And so, now that we have some of this, let's jump back over to the furnace. Okay, so... Well, looks like I actually <laughs> left some in there. Okay, whatever. That's fine. We'll just add this in there too. And, uh, yeah, we'll start cooking that up. But in the meantime, we will also kind of go into how to build this thing. Because it's, eh, it's pretty much the same, but it's a little different. So you're going to want to look up furnace instead of forge. So the furnace is essentially the forge, except um, it requires a bit more, I think, small rocks. And it also has a bellows. If you search for bellows in your basic crafting on your person, you won't find it. So what do you do? Well, it's obviously in some other place you need to craft. And one of those places is the workbench. So we look up bellows. And look, here's the bellows. It's in the workbench. So, we need some leather, some paper, etc. Um, let me just grab those from my reserves upstairs. All right, so bellows, we can just now craft that because I grabbed those guys. And yeah, that's the same. Hit craft. Now, if you're curious about getting leather, you can find leather couches in certain houses. Uh, so usually, some of the bigger houses have them because it's more opulent. The other way to do it is to make yourself a, a tanning rack from wood. And like I said in the previous episode, you do have to have these close to a window, otherwise they won't work. But basically all you have to do is get some, uh, some hide and you right click twice and it will go on there. It doesn't really matter which way these are facing. Uh, these ones I just happened to put in a weird direction when I put them down. So that's that. And then in time they will be dried. Um, so yeah. I've got this strange HUD issue. Uh, hitting I seems to have made it go, go away. Okay, so on the roof across from this place I put up a bunch more of these other ones. You just hit E and then you can harvest them when they are good to go. Um, kind of just like this. And all done. And then you just, you know, restack them up and get them going again. Um, if you're looking for something that's the equivalent of a mining helmet in the game, you're going to want to eventually find the wizard's hat, and it is essentially the, the equivalent. It's, I don't know, I don't generally wear mine because I generally like to keep my armor on. That's just me. But maybe for this tutorial, because it's at night, we will just do it that way. Okay, so this is all cooked up. Okay, once you have your bellows, you can do your furnace. And once again, it's just kind of like this. You're, you need your 100 rock, 50 lumps of clay, and your bellows. And you can just do that on your person, and that will cook it up. But yeah, if you, as you can see here, like, this has metal strips, right? This is called the ingot press, up here, the ingot press. It's this weird tool here. But, you know, if we were to look in here for metal strips, you wouldn't be able to find it. So this is why it comes to be a little bit tricky, where you have to check most of the workstations. Um, that way you can kind of figure out how to build different things. So... We are going to get a bunch of the smelted iron out of this thing. So we've put some in. Now we're going to get some out. Mm, let's just take it all out. Whatever. 
so you can also do your bricks in here, empty vials, and a couple of other little things and doodads in here. I'm not overly concerned with that right now for myself. Uh, I'm going to take about 10 of this out. And in here, this is where we make our forged iron. So you need your smelted iron from your furnace, and then you can craft that into these forged iron strips. So just like that, we're going to add this up a little bit to 59. Once these are all, I guess, pressed iron. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. It's forged iron at this point. So. And there. There's some more of that. Yeah, metal strips are used for the saddle. You need cloth, cloth fragments and leather. That's if you were to craft it by yourself. Saddlebag, same kind of little things. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's just over in the workbench. The workbench is craftable by you. You just need to find some iron, which there are iron things around, frying pans and weapons. It's not generally too hard to find. And a builder's hammer. Builder's hammer. Uh, and that is a little bit something you need to get there, so we'll figure out that one. So, a hammerhead and wood. So, it's been a while for me since I've actually got this. I think to get the builder's hammer you need the weapon schema hammer. So you just have to look around for it in bookshelves or find it at one of the spiritual merchants. But eventually you'll get it and then you can make one. So, we'll turn that off, and I guess I'll leave these running in here. Okay, so once we have our forged iron, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff we can do with it, but you're going to need the anvil, and the anvil is made in here, right there. So it's one of the first things you're going to need to make. Basically, once you have your anvil made, you can take it and just put it down wherever. I just put this one here. And once you have that, you should build an anvil hammer to go in it. Um, you can probably find one too, they're, they're pretty common. So, anvil hammer is just a hammerhead and wood. So once again, you would go into here, build a hammer head uh, with some forged iron, and then go back into your normal inventory and finish crafting it. You can also craft... Um, Axe heads, iron picks, but for the iron pick, you need the basic blacksmithing book and you need your picks book. So it's it's a bit of a challenge to get. It took me a long time to get it, but it's kind of random as well. And uh, you can build all kinds of weapons and armors in here. I think maybe I'll try a sword. I've never made a sword before, so let's go for that. All right, so once we have our large sword blade or other other blades, whatever you want to make, oftentimes you have to come over to your workbench again, and we could make, say, a iron broadsword out of this thing. Uh, if we go and look at the recipes, we basically got a bastard sword and an iron broadsword. Um, I don't know. Let's craft one of these broadswords here, and there it is, iron broadsword. So, what do we got for stats on that one? 67, 60, and it's got some other pretty decent stats. Uh, let's see if we can make it even better. So this is the grindstone, and I don't know that we can actually do anything with it right now. Um, we would need some beast feathers, crystal shards, and uh, various other things here. Yeah, basically we would need a long sword here, or other various types of enchanted, well, just other sorts of uh, weapons, like an iron long axe and stuff, so. So yeah, in the episode where we go to the Mystic Forest, I'll show you about beast feathers and crystal shards. You can occasionally find them on creatures around uh, as they attack, but I wouldn't really guarantee that. So one of the things you can do is you can craft beer in the game, so just need a little bit of iron to make the barrel with some wood and we can make that happen my character's getting a little hungry so I'm actually gonna go over and look at the food stuff because it's a little bit a little bit weird but if we put the empty beer thing here we'll come back to that in a moment okay so you know your normal campfire 
but it's only so useful because it only does a couple of simple things because it requires a frying pan and so it's not the most useful of things it'll kind of you know allow you to eat some food on the way the main thing you're going to kind of want to get is of course that cauldron that i talked about uh here which you can also make in your furnace just so you know and then you need to make a campfire cooker and that basically just like holding a cauldron over a campfire so that's basically how that works and then you take your unboiled water and you cook it on to on here right so you just like you can find it skin of clean water just you know you can make it from snow or whatever it doesn't really matter you have your empty or your your murky water and you can make it on this thing so this is probably one of your most useful cooking things in medieval mod is this campfire cooker this is an oven it's also good for certain things but kind of things like you would expect to make in an oven you know <laughs> so bread pie uh, meat stew all those things it's all things that you can make on the oven so I would pretty much just recommend getting yourself one of these campfire cookers because you can cook your eggs your meat and get water so find a cauldron and make that up first and you'll be pretty good off uh, I believe I actually have a lot of grilled meat on me. Okay, and so to get yourself beer, you need to use that beer barrel that you crafted, and you plop that thing down, and you get an empty beer barrel. And you just use some hops that you would find at a farm, or maybe out in the wild, and right-click on this thing, and uh, uh, you can hold it, and it will upgrade it into a crafting beer. Okay, so once this thing is finally brewed, you will be able to use a an empty water skin and you'll be able to left click on it. And you'll hear that swooshing sound and wait till it breaks. So you just kind of click it once and wait till it breaks and that allows the block to change. And then you have a bottle, a bata bag of beer. It doesn't get rid of these and it's just a quirk of the way that things have had to go and way the mod is put together because of the limitations of the engine anyways all that aside you can click on it a couple more times and get three bottle bags of beer boom and then it's ready for brewing again right so more beer okay next is the alchemy table it is crafted like this so you need to go out and find yourself another cauldron or make one in your furnace you need to find a bowl. Bowls aren't too hard to find inside of houses, so I would go that route. Some paper. Paper's not too hard to find, actually, in the game, <laughs> like most of the time. And so, yeah, and then just a craft fire and one, a campfire and some wood, and bam, you got yourself an alchemy bench. For the tools, you'll kind of need the mortar and pestle and the philosopher's stone, which you can find around town or in people's houses, because that's basically the most easy places to find it so that'll be pretty good but with it you can craft all kinds of goodies this is where a lot of these plants come in handy you need a lot of these ones to make um, these different elixirs and stuff and some water so this is what those quests are all about with trying to find all these different plants kind of to teach you what they look like out in the wilderness so you can find them so you can make these elixirs and stuff and various other things to make uh, and you can just search through all the different stuff here and make them purge crystals which are important for the light we'll get to that but making purge crystals requires that you well, the higher purge crystals requires a philosopher's stone these lower ones don't do much but these ones definitely do so just keep that in mind um strong blood blood you get from various creatures and uh you need to hmm well it's basically you need to kill them and you need to have a vial on you so once you have a normal just just a vial then you can take your empty vial and craft it into something specific for whatever creature lies in front of you as a pile of gore and then you take that and you 
you know, basically grab some of that. And then you have a vial of, say, orc blood or a vial of dragon blood. And you can use that in here to get whatever type you need. So strong blood. Uh, it could be crafted from wyvern blood, crystal wyvern blood, ogre blood, troll blood. Uh, not, that's not very easy. Uh, those creatures are pretty tough. You can do it though, they're not too bad. Um, so yeah, that's sort of how you go about doing that. Um, and so for, yeah, like example, you know, we could take the corn recipe, corn meal, craft a couple of them up. And then in here, because we have some water, we could make some more of this uh, fermented corn, which then would be used for doing, I think, crystal dust, if I'm right. Yeah, crystal dust. And then crystal dust is used for the purge crystals. And you also have the blood. Uh, yeah, so that's basically the gists of that. The purge crystals are super important or, oh yeah, did I, I should, I'm pretty sure I should do this. Yes, I did. Um, for when you get the blight. Basically, purge crystals are the one thing that will get rid of the blight. So you basically just have to plop one down on the ground and make it work. I think there's some blight out in the middle of nowhere. Um, yeah, I'll show that in the next episode about sort of the wilderness biome. Because um, this is a city, yeah. So we'll go from there and see that. So what I was talking about um, getting leather, you could, if you want to get some leather early on, find one of these guys here and take this out. And that will help you with getting a little bit ahead on some of your building, like your forge. Yeah, so just keep an eye out for the, these ones, and other buildings will have that kind of stuff too. Alright guys, so the next episode is the Wilderness. So we're going to hit up that next, then the Orc Biome, because I have a nice base up there that I can show you, and we can just do a little excursion in, and that'll be the next episode. If you enjoyed these a little tutorial on the crafting aspect of medieval mod then hit that like button and share with some friends and if you are new to the channel and like what you see hit the subscribe button it'll also help you keep appraised of any new episodes of this coming out and like i said there should be a few not too many but a few and if you uh, liked it enough check out some more stuff on the channel and see if you enjoyed that and if you do hit the subscribe button all right so we're gonna head out into the wilderness here it's a bit different than what you might expect and anyway we'll go into the couple of things you can expect out here things you should be looking for and yeah i will see you in the next episode bye bye